Dear Brother Robles and all brothers and sisters of our charismatic family, Today we greet Mary, blessed among women, as we contemplate the miracle of God's mercy in the mystery of His Immaculate Conception. In his talk during his audience to the Capitulans, Pope Francis invites us to take Mary as a traveling companion, so that she may always accompany you in your pilgrimage. May Mary also be for you an example in this, for your life and for your mission. On this feast day, I want to get back on the road with Mary and with all our family to gradually become such a missionary pilgrimage, source of hope in communion, as was the dream of our general chapter. The Gospel test proposed by the Pope tells of Mary's encounters with Elizabeth. For many, this Gospel passage is an inspiring paradigm of the Church missionary action. Called to be, to announce, and to share the mystery of salvation that dwells within us, we go out with haste to meet the other, placing ourselves at their service, as Mary did. I would like to begin and continue a conversation with all the members of our shared family what contemplation of this gospel passage brings us for our life and our mission. Let's be creative in putting on the common table what each one is discovering. In these days, I will have the ask of the general chapter believe that a good acceptance of the chapter document will occur when each and every member of our charismatic family becomes an animator of the post charter phase. All of us then are called to set out on the journey. Will you allow me in this phase of acceptance of the post charter animation to propose once again as a model what Mary experienced in the mystery of the visitation? She heard from the messengers some good news that exceeded all expectation. Even without understanding everything, she confidently abandoned herself into the hands of God. Walking with confidence, she let faith and hope grow in their heart, repeatedly remembering that for God nothing is impossible. And in this pilgrimage journey, Mary was a sacrament, an announcement of the presence of the Savior in our history. Putting herself at the service of Elizabeth, she received the gift of the confirmation of her own identity. Let us Mary to teach us to wholeheartedly become the grace of the last general chapter. Let us walk with her hand in hand, putting ourselves at the service of the other and living the joy of being prophets of communion and hope. I would like to invite you to accompany me with your prayer in the pilgrimage that I will undertake to embrace and show communion with other brothers in Ukraine. With them, I would also like to embrace all the members of our charismatic family, which are in pilgrimage in difficult situations, in suffering, hit by all kinds of violent situations, caused by injustice and human ambition. With Mary and with all our family saints and with those who have preceded us on this pilgrimage, let us walk the path of service to the most abandoned, being source of hope and communion. 
Happy Feast of the Immaculate Conception of Mary.